Hello everybody, Grease Still Blaze, and we're here with a new game for the channel called Quarantine, No Time for BS. So Quarantine is very, very akin to Pandemic, if you've ever played that board game. I have it, and I played it a lot with my buddies, and we we consistently die. Uh, we die all the time, so the world is probably screwed, but I'm gonna give it my best shot anyway. I played a little bit of the game to understand it. It acts very similarly. Some people have called it like a mixture between like a Plague Inc. style game and XCOM. I guess that's a pretty good assessment of it. Let's go right over here to the new game. Now you can choose from three different types of horrible things to infect and destroy the entire planet. We have bacteria. Each of them kind of give you a scenario and it gives you a little bit about that particular disease. This one here says increased spread to uninfected cities, standard infection to infected cities, and standard mutation rate. The virus is standard spread, standard infection, and increased mutation rate. And then this prion is standard spread, increased infection to infected cities, and standard mutation rate. I'm gonna go ahead with bacteria here. That seems to be a good one to start with. We're gonna go on medium for this. Um, from what I've seen, easy is easy. Medium is right about in the middle where you have a damn good chance at losing as hard is pretty hard. So again, I'm not the best. I don't make the best choices in the universe. And I'll kind of show you that it's a little bit difficult to play the game and talk about it while you're doing it, like commentate on it, but it's still a pretty fun game. Especially, like I said, if you're big on those type of strategy style turn-based board games, as I am, I just don't get a lot of time to play them anymore. Let's go give this a shot. So from here, you can start off with kind of like a leader of the group, and each group leader gives you different abilities that kind of persist through the game. You see security here, operatives receive less damage from operations, the medic gives you two infection removal instead of one per treatment. This is actually very good, considering the entire game is about removing infections. Diplomacy here, operatives get more XP from operations. And then the science guy, Bill Nye, over here, although I guess his name is Stevie Banks for purposes of the game, healing restores 100% health. So, generally from what I've seen, like, the damage that you take is usually half of your health. So, it gets to the point where you can take, like, 4 and 3 damage, and then maybe, like, getting hit twice and restoring 100% would be good. But for the most part, 50% heal that you get is pretty decent. I'm not, I don't know exactly how good the XP is from the, the accelerated training. Pretty much, I can tell you that the medic is a damn fine guy to have on your team. Uh, he's just really good. You can start wherever you want. It really doesn't matter too much. I think that they had... Okay, good. For a little while, they had messed up kind of like the area of the pointer. Like, it was all over the map. Like, it was in the middle of bodies of water and stuff like that. But now things are looking pretty appropriate. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and start us off in Los Angeles. I'm from the U.S., so that makes sense in some ways. And here's our map. So this is kind of fortunate. We have all of our bacterial problems over on this side of the world. So a lot of times, so you can start with bacteria anywhere and it really sucks when they're on completely different sides of the universe because then you have to deal with the potential for everything to spread back and forth between all the bodies of water. And you can see from each city how many connector points it has to potentially spread. So Delvi and Beng Shi are both going to be issues. You can see here, this one has how many does this have? Five potential spreading points, and this has five potential spreading points, and right here it has two. So we're going to want to deal with either of these. Right now we're at $20,000. One of the very first thing that we're going to want to do is buy a new operative, and I believe that costs 30. Yeah, it costs 30 for everyone, so we can't do that yet, but having two actions a turn and then three and then four is so good. We're going to need that. Oh, also, start on your tech right away because the game doesn't hold your hand and like tell you to start on the tech. It's not like, I don't know, like Total War, Warhammer or anything like that, where if you don't start on tech, the game is like, hey, don't forget me. No, this is like, yeah, you can die because this game is meant to destroy souls and it does an excellent job at it. Let's do the disease intensification. The, the medic line over here is kind of my favorite, at least to start with, because it's so good. I mean, the game, again, is about treating people, so this is going to help no matter what. Disinfect is probably my favorite thing. It says, cities treated to zero infection level cannot be reinfected. That is so good. Even this one is good. This uh, disease has minus one intensity actions per turn. That's good as well. So all of these are super useful. So our medic over here, we're going to have to start taking care of this. We can only do one action right now. So I guess what we'll do is go ahead and do the advanced treatment over here. That's going to go ahead and treat this. What that means is that the now, okay, so this still has infected people in it, right? There's people in there that are still coughing and vomiting all over one another or whatever the bacteria does. I don't know. And 
that's bad, but you can see now there's no red lines, so it can't spread to all these places, so that's kind of good. And it doesn't cost any money to treat people, so that's amazing. Right now we have 30,000 over here, we're getting some spread. Please, Delphi, don't ruin my life. Uh, yeah, it's kind of ruining my life. And bang, she is freaking reinfected again immediately. Let us start right off the bat by hiring a new person. So generally what I like to hire is a diplomat because the diplomat allows you to build bases of operation for I think $10,000 less, it's really good. So if nothing else, she's also going to get us an extra action so we can continue to kind of like help these places out. Right off the bat, let's start with some advanced treatment over here. That worked out pretty well. Nothing is, nothing's getting too close to the ocean yet, so that's not terrible. Bangshi, again, gonna do the advanced treatment on that. That's Job gonna that. be pretty much all we can do, just because we don't have any money right now. But we'll get um, 10,000 next turn, and if I can, I'd like to start up a new office, because that'll get us 20,000 per turn, and we can buy another person, and 30,000 per turn, and then we'll be able to buy all of our roster up, and that's gonna be super good. The samples thing, don't worry about this yet. We need to collect samples in, well, here, I'll show you. You need samples in order to develop the cures, and we need four cures to get this done. Or, I'm sorry, three cures in order to get this done. So, what we're going to do is, once we have scientists, we're going to start going to these different infected cities and kind of like, I don't know, getting, getting cultures and stuff like that, and then buying the cures. But for right now, all we're worried about is research. Uh, everyone's done. Go ahead and end our turn. Let's see how bad things are. Every once in a while, you get like, I don't know, randomly generated instances of horridness that occur. Cairo now has a level two problem. That's an issue. Uh, our lady over here, I'm probably gonna have her start up an office. We might as well do it here right now. Go ahead and get that done. That's gonna give us 20,000 per shot. Cairo over here, medium risk for damage. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that when we go in here and treat this city, we have a double well, not double, but we have a higher than average risk of this guy getting damaged, and damage is a pain in the ass in this game. Because if you get damaged twice on a five damage thingy, your guy dies. End of story. So let's pray to God he, uh, he took damage. So that sucks. He managed to treat it all the way down, but he also got beat pretty bad. We are getting 20,000 per turn right now, so that's pretty good. I think I'm going to want to quarantine this if I can, just so that it doesn't get out of hand. Delphi's already got two. Uh, let's see what else we got going on over here. Markesh, Dakar could be jumping across the ocean. That would suck. We also have to deal with this guy who is now fairly injured. Um, let's immediately start up another office. Mission We're going to get complete. that done. And what is the damage potential for quarantining? The damage risk is low, but it's five damage right off the bat. So that's pretty bad. Uh, let's see what else can we do here. I'm pretty sure that he cannot. Yeah, see, he costs 20,000 to establish an office, and she is only 10. So that's kind of the value there. We're probably going to have to heal him. I could take. Man, I don't want to take the risk. That would really suck, though, if this starts bouncing everywhere. We're just going to have to hope for the best, folks. Heal the operative. Here we go, and that's the end of our turn. Now, to be fair, we're going to have a new operative next turn, and our research is going to be done. Let's just pray to God it doesn't jump ocean. Got a really good chance of doing it, though. We have two potential. Yep, it jumped. All right. Well, what can you do? The rest of this place didn't turn out too bad, but Delphi, again, is at a three level, which kind of sucks. Let's go straight into disinfect. We're going to want this done, and then we're going to want to purchase a new operative. I think we're going to purchase probably another medic. Reduces minus, uh, the one infect. Well, you know what? We could also do a security person. Minus one damage. You know what? Let's do that. Let's take uh, old Seth Levet okay, over here on the team. He looks a lot like Hans. They have the same same fashion sense. Kind of interesting. All right. Well, whatever. Let's start this up. Delphi over here needs to get fixed up big time. Um, do we have enough? I think I have enough offices now to the point where I'm not too worried about it. We don't have... Do we have enough money to do any kind of quarantining? We don't. So let's start with the advanced treatment. The work is finished. Okay, good. So she didn't get injured. That's good, because there was a low chance, if you remember. Uh, Delphio over here, we're gonna have to get that done. I don't think that this guy can get... Let me see here. See, he only gets two infection reduction per turn. So let's have him do something a little bit lesser. Let's have him do something like Dakar over here. We're gonna get this done. Mission Hopefully, accomplished. Yes, no damage for him as well, so that was pretty good. And then our best operative over here for doing dealing with treatment. I mean, he might take take the damage. He might not. It's a high risk, but he deals three at a time. 
That okay. Easy. He took the damage, but we got Del, uh, Del, he down to zero infection risk right now, so that's not bad at all. Man, four more days until this is done. I can't wait for that to get done. It's gonna be so good. All right, let's continue. We're gonna have another operative here in a little bit, which is gonna be good. Hong Kong just took a hit. That sucks. Oh, God. Problems in Mogadishu. Civil War. Uh, enhanced safe zones. Damage control. Let's try the safe zones. Good. All right. It was successful. That worked out really well. Holy crap. I'm so bad at doing those. Usually, they never work for me. Another operative right off the bat. Our final operative. We don't need a scientist yet. I think I'm just going to do another medic. And we'll have two guys on the team and two females. So, Monica Madsen, you're on the team. Let's go back over here. All right, what are we dealing with right now? We've got 10,000 money, which isn't enough to actually do anything quarantine-wise. But we can start hitting a lot of these places, and we're going to have to start down here. So let's do the advanced treatment. Just made it. Okay, wow, she just got injured, too. Um, so we're going to have to deal with that in a little bit. Let's go hit over here to stop this from jumping to this landmass. Advanced treatment for you. Come on now, well give, me a, give me a good. That's what I like to see. No damage, baby. No damage. Over here, Marrakesh, we can deal with that probably, or I can deal with Hong Kong. Hong Kong might be the better option. Let's see. Yeah, let's go over here and deal with Hong Kong. Advanced treatment over there. We're done here. Good. And we're gonna heal our guy over here just because he's not feeling too well. So let's go ahead and heal operative, put him back up to full. Mission accomplished. And now the group is looking pretty good. So the infection rating isn't too bad. Um, we're at a four right now. Uh, and our tech is moving along. We're gonna want to start buying more engineers. If you go over here, we can hire an engineer for 60,000. That's gonna reduce the amount of time it takes to do stuff by one uh, day. I think each engineer was just really good. Let's go ahead and end our turn. And then we're gonna want to start working on some new tech. And I think I know exactly what I want. There's a tech that gives you plus one operative and plus one operative is amazing. So, now we're starting to get a decent amount of money in the bag. I think what I want to do is start quarantining. This way, the uh, the stuff can't get in or out, which is kind of nice. So, that means that nothing will be jumping over here for right now. What else can we do in the meantime? We could just start... We could just start treating over here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Operation complete. Everyone's health is doing okay. She was at the lowest, but there was a low chance. So, I kind of just took a chance there. Let's get rid of this right now. More advanced treatment going on. The work is finished. Nice. Okay, good. And we're almost going to have enough to buy a new engineer. We're doing okay right now. We're kind of beating back the issues, which is good. Let's go ahead and start some advanced treatment here as well. Mission accomplished. Nice. And we got to level up from that. All right, baby. Give me that cash. 55 grand in the bag. All right. Hong Kong took a little bit of a beating right there. Oh, God. Here we go. Medium risk, medium risk. Let's do the safe zones again. It worked good last time, right? Yes. Oh, man. Talk about luck on your side. One day until this is done. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. We are going to... What do I want to do here? We could probably put... We could probably quarantine this over here just to kind of keep it from going down to uh, port. Oh, I'm going to start. Now, you know me. I pronounce everything wrong anyway, so don't expect me to be pronouncing this stuff. I assume this is Moresby. So we can quarantine this. Uh, if you quarantine this, the damage risk is low. I'm just going to go ahead and heal her up to full. Operation is a success. I'd rather just have her kind of doing well right now. Let's go ahead and quarantine this. Easy. There we go. And let's go ahead and continue to reduce the infection levels in the places that we can. Plus, the other reason I quarantined is because we'll still have enough to buy en engineer, which is pretty good. So advanced treatment over here. That should do well. Is finished. Excellent. And then, I wonder, can you establish another office? We could. I almost feel like I want to. Um, let's go ahead and just establish an office over, let's see here. Let's go establish an office over here. Bag. I want to see if I can do this without taking damage. Okay, cool. So now we're getting 40,000 per day. That's perfect because that's going to give us another office and a perfect 60,000 for an engineer. And I think this is going to get done uh, fairly soon here. Yep, this is done. Nice. Oh, so good. So immediately, disease screening, minus one actions per turn. Let's hire an engineer, get this done. It only takes two days now, baby. That is what I'm talking about. We're moving right along, man. Um, 
So let's start doing what we do. Let's start beating this stuff back and eventually start getting some cures here. We're just gonna start treating everything, bringing everything way down. And remember, the more we treat, the less the potential there is for things getting out of, uh, out of hand. So let's go over here to Bangkok. I'd like to treat this. Nice. It's not reinfected, which is sweet. Uh, and then we'll go over here to, can we even do this? No, we can't. Let's go over here to this. There's a Chengdu. Chengdu. Get that done as well. And then our guy over here. I'm gonna go ahead over here and do a advanced treatment right here. Done and done. That Tiran? Yep. So sweet. We're good. We've got enough to the point right now where I feel damn good about kind of what we're doing. In fact, what we could do next turn is get rid of our politician and start getting a scientist so we can start getting cultures and stuff like that. Uh, right now, the disease is mutated all the way, so we're dealing with maximum spreadature, <laughs> so to speak. Um, we are going to go ahead and dismiss you, and let's get a scientist on the team. We just got rid of a female, so let's get a female. Mia Monty! Glad to be on board. You're now part of the group. Glad to have you. What are we going to do with her? Nothing quite yet. Let's just start kind of doing our advanced treatments. There we go. The Excellent. Bag. No one's taken any damage in a while, too, so things have been just really, really lucky so far. Bangkok! You are getting the royal treatment. Nice. And let's see. I think at this point we can go and grab a culture. Now, the question is, does being in a lesser kind of uh, damaged city give you more? So right now, that, that'll give us plus two disease samples. However, if we do it from here... Let's take a look. Uh, we get plus two as well. So two no matter what. Let's put her in a city where there's no chance for her taking any kind of damage. There we go. Mission complete. So we got a couple of samples. It's not the best, but it'll get us started. I think we need four in order to get anything. Let's check this out. Uh, yeah, four samples to get anything started. So we'll worry about that in a little bit. And one more time with the advanced treatment should get us going good. So turn 10, we're doing pretty damn good. We can probably get another engineer next turn, and I think that's what I'm going to want to do. Another engineer will move our our research levels way, way, way up. So our And this has done really well for us. This quarantine over here, I can't believe how well that's done. All right, so what do I want to start with? Uh, disease requires more mutation points. That's kind of useless right now, I think. Uh, healing gives you 100% health, but we're not taking a lot of damage. Plus one, uh, plus one operative right here. That's what I want. And then operative for more XP. So let's get started on that. We'll be able to buy... We'll be able to buy another engineer next time. Let's go ahead and start healing things up, though. So what do we have over here that we can heal? Bangkok is a thing. We can do advanced treatment on that and kind of get that all Operation fixed up. Complete. And then Mumbai. That would be fantastic if we could go ahead and heal that all the way. Things are doing really good. I have never had a start like this right now. This is, this is like amazing. Like, I've, I, I don't know what to say. It's never been so so good as things are right now. Sampling operation. Let's go ahead and operation get that other sample. This way we can go over to our cultures. And what do we want? Antibiotic, rodent flea, or lymph node? Uh, let's go with the lymph node right now. This sounds kind of interesting. Emergency septic care. Drain. Use antiseptics and drain away toxins. It unlocks responses to situations and get one step closer to the cure. Sounds good to me. Let's start it up. Uh, oh, let's hire another researcher as well. So now we have, I think, another researcher there, and we've got plenty of action still to do things. So oh, let's do, do this it. over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and take Delhi down. Uh, we might as well just do advanced treatment. Oh, can't use... Oh, everyone's done. That's right. All right. Well, I guess we can't do anything right now. We're still... I think we're still doing pretty damn good, though. Let's start gaining a bunch of money. Disease activity, baby. Do your worst. What do you got for me? Uh, Bangkok took a little bit of a hit. Oh, crap. New what is this? Public protests, huh? Curfews or deploy the riot police. Ooh. Try to keep people in their homes to minimize exposure. Uh, let's deploy the riot police. Riot police is successful. The riots have been beaten back by multiple batons to the cranium. That worked out fairly well. One day left until we get our next research done, and then, what is that, three days for our cure? And then we'll be one step closer to not dying horribly. Uh, what else can we do right now? Let's go ahead and start healing this, because that was something I wanted to do the last time. 
Excellent. Things worked out pretty good there. And Myas will do Delhi again. Man, we've been we've been treating the living hell Too easy. out of Delhi. And probably let's see. One more of the sampling operation. Now it looks like she doesn't take. Let me see here. Will she take damage if I do this over here? I can't remember if she does. Damage risk is low. Yeah, she could take damage there. So let's just do it in a place where there's no chance of her taking any kind of damage. That's much, much better. Still only getting two per turn. I think that more of the uh, research levels will allow us to get more than that. So let's see. Last thing we can do is I guess we'll go ahead and just treat this right. Well, you know what? Let's heal him. We're doing so well right now that to lose him would be just stupid. So, there we go. 80,000 money. We can get another another one of our uh, people done for the... Uh, what the hell is this called? Over here? Scientists? Yes, that's what it is. Scientists right over there. We're going to get that done. I think we'll get an engineer next turn. So, this is done over here. Let's see what else we can do. Plus one operatives. Start the research. Two days on that. And next turn, we're going to get 40,000. Yeah, we're going to get an engineer next turn. I think that's what I want the most. So, let's go grab another of the... Let's see here. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to treat. Then we're going to grab Operation a... Complete. We're going to grab a culture real quick. Go ahead and treat over here as well. We're doing real good on the treatments. Real good. We'll go ahead and grab a sampling. This way that'll give us four so we can start right ahead on the next cure by the time the next turn comes. And yeah, I guess we'll just... I guess we'll heal this. Man, maybe I should have went hard. Done and done. This is incredible. Like, again, I, I don't know. If you guys have played this game and you've died a couple of times, like, I don't know. I've never, I've just, I've never had a start like this. And I think that having a good start kind of allowed us to go all throughout the game and not have, like, just a terrible time of things. Right over here. That's good. We can start on our next cure. Um, let's see. We need one of four right now. So, what do we want here? Eliminate the fleas. Let's see here. Less antibiotics are made to the public. Get one step closer, so more unlocks. Um, rodent fleas, blood and body fluids. I kind of like that. That sounds neat. Let's do that. Well, sounds neat. Sounds interesting. 25% closer to the cure. Over here, let's hire an engineer to get things moving a little bit faster. And we'll be able to get another uh, researcher on our team next level. So I think that that's what we're going to want to do. Again, Bang Shi, we need to beat you back. Operation complete. Excellent. And is there anything left for us really to do? Not really. We can't even treat right now. So we can't quarantine either. Is there anything for us to do? We can't establish an office. Um, let's see. Like I said, we don't have enough money to quarantine. We can't establish an office. Whoa, that sucked. My game crashed, but uh, we're back. And like I said, I think all that we're going to do right now is just continue to just get cultures um, by the sampling operation because we have two right now. We're going to need at least four for us to do anything when it comes to researching the next strain of cure. Well, I don't know if it's a strain of cure, just the next cure. So I'm going to go ahead and start an operation over here with this guy. There we go. I don't want to use up my money right now because I want to get a, uh, an engineer next turn. So that's why I'm kind of not quarantining right now. Let's go ahead and end our turn. In a little bit here, I think we're going to get plus one operative too, which is going to be really good. I'm so happy about that. Ah, Verspilia! Finally, it's happened. So, do we buy an operative or do we go straight into the engineer? I think instead I'm going to... Eh, I'm going to go into the operative here. Because having an extra turn to do things is going to be really, really, really good. And what do I want? Probably just another security person. I could get a medic, but we're not getting that much... We're not getting a ton of outbreaks right now because we've handled everything so well. So let's go down here to Brazil and start with the old treatment. Looking good. Over here in the tech. Let's see. Plus one field offices. We don't really need that. I think instead... What do we got over here? New quarantines at plus one health. What does this give us? More money. Uh, more money is good. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this, actually. We could also build another field office, which isn't bad. There's nothing wrong with having more field offices and thereby having more money. Over here, more advanced treatment going on. Excellent. And, man, there's really not much else to do right now. Uh, we can just start getting more and more sampling operations done. Get everyone a little bit more XP from this, too. In fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. 
Let's see. We go over here. Can you get can you get samples over here? Oh wow, she can. All right. Plus three samples way down there in the quarantine zone. Kind of like that. And how about you? Can you get it? Damage risk is low. You know what? What the hell? Um. Can you get samples from an area that has absolutely no damage to it? You cannot. Okay, so you have to at least pick a place where there is some level of outbreak. So, and the only one that we can do it from is this one over here. Eh, whatever. We have, uh, again, everyone's in such good health. I'm not really worried about it. How's he doing? Oh, he's totally fine. We're fine. Everything's good. And the turn, baby. Give me that money so I could buy more engineers. I want more engineers on the team because I think we're almost fully done with the amount of scientists. Yeah, we have every scientist we could want. Two out of four cures, boys. We're getting there. Antibiotics or rodent fleas? Let's do the rodent fleas. I think that sounds like fun. Back over here, another engineer. That's three of four. Things are going to be moving along real fast. We might unlock everything. Probably not, though. We're, we're researching cures so fast that it's not even giving us an issue. Advanced treatment over here. City is fixed, and once again, we're pretty much at the point now where there's not really, there's not really anything scary going on. So we could probably treat this if we wanted to. There we go. Now that quarantine city is totally fine. And then, I don't know, I guess we'll just go ahead and treat Hong Kong. Yay! We just did a speed run. We didn't even have to beat the cure. All we had to do was... All we had to do was quarantine the rest. You managed to eradicate the disease. I never won that way. I've usually gotten the cure and not really eradicated the disease. So that's cool that you can win that way. That's really neat. So we got the speed run, huh? So next time, I don't know if I ever play this again now, I may have to go on hard because I feel like, I feel like we did way too good uh, with the bacteria there. Or maybe try like the prion or something like that. Guys, hope you enjoyed quarantine. Again, if you're a lover of stuff like the Plague Inc. or like Pandemic, then this is your kind of game. Anyway, folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.